This render could use a transparent image of a cloud for the finishing touch. Ah, oh, here is one. Now let's bring it into Blender. Ah, it's not transparent. Well, it could happen. I'll just go grab another one. How hard can it be? Transparency is a false concept used to be called and mislead the masses to make them stare blindly into eternal nothingness. Oh, here's one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hello, everybody. Fake transparent images can be really annoying. Luckily, there's a way to remove white and black backgrounds. So let's get started. Add a plane and go over to the shader editor. There we can press Ctrl T on our principal BSDF to bring in an image texture with a texture coordinate node and a mapping node. Now load in our image with a white background. Bring in the mix node and set it to multiply. Plug it into the alpha socket and make sure that the top color is white while the bottom color is black. You can use a color ramp node before the multiply to refine some edges. If you plug your image texture into the base color, you can see that the red color is retrieved, but it might not be as pronounced as you want it to be. So we are going to bring in a hue and saturation node and slide up the saturation in order to get to a color that we like. We can also play with the value slider, but if you play with the hue slider, it will change its color. If you happen to have a black background image such as with fire, you can plug it into the alpha socket directly and it will take away all the black. And if you want that fire to look a little bit stronger, plug it into the emission and play around with the strength. And here's another method to take away the white from the background. Let's bring in the plane again and go over to the shader editor. There we're going to press on the principal BSDF and press Ctrl T once again. Then we get our image texture set up. We have to select our image first, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to bring in a separate color node. And there you can see we got the RGB values. And I'm going to plug the blue into a color ramp. Now slide the white slider of the color ramp all the way to the left side at around one fifth. We have to plug this color ramp node into an RGB to black and white value node. So I'm going to bring that in here, the RGB to BW node. All we need now is a transparent BSDF and a mix shader. So I'm going to plug the transparent BSDF into the bottom socket. I'm going to plug the principal BSDF into the top socket. And I'm going to place the RGB to BW into the factor of the mix shader. And then of course we have to connect our mix shader to the surface of the material output. And as you can see, it's working out fine. If you want everything to work the same in Eevee as well, we can go over to the material tab and scroll down to settings. There you can see the blend mode and the blend mode should be set to alpha clip. And if that doesn't work out for you, set it to alpha hashed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that great stuff.